Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. I've got an independent short film for you today. It's actually meant to be a promotion for Raccoon Brand. It's their new comedy short film called Ad Men. Now, this is brought to us by the director, Jesse uh, Barak, who gave us, uh, who directed Polypor, which you may remember. It's an uh, interesting indie sci-fi film I reviewed a while back, as well as he co-directed Harvey the Great, which was a recent review of mine as well. And this time around, we get the story of three guys, Hal, Logan, and Sal. And they run an ad agency, and when we're introduced to them at first, we get some a very unusual tequila ad that they ran, which didn't sit well with their client, but let me tell you, I loved it and made me want to buy that brand of tequila. Anyway, after they have a little trouble with that client, they have the potential of getting this big client for Raccoon Brand. Raccoon Brand is their potential client, and so they want to impress that client, all the while they're dealing with some uh, out-of-work uh, things going on on in their life and we see how these three take a very comedic approach to the raccoon brand commercial as well as how they handle the other things in their lives ah this is this was a lot of fun folks uh, jesse brock really has some great comedic timing in here and that is very evident in the opening when we're introduced to this unusual tequila commercial uh, th this opening just floored me i actually watched the commercial a few times before the rest of the film just because i loved what happened did not expect what happened to happen there and it was a great way to open open this short. Now, Hal is played by Johnny uh, Segala, Graham King is played by Logan, and Nick uh, Dayal uh, plays Sala. And let me tell you, these three have the comedic timing of the Three Stooges, and that's not an insult, that's a plus. I it felt had the spirit of the Three Stooges. Now, not quite so slapstick, but the uh, crazy things that these three do, as well as just the chemistry of how they played off each other, really felt Stooge-like. So props there for those three for really coming across as three guys who know each other well and just do some very funny things and the ideas they come up as well are, are pretty crazy too I I enjoyed how they were uh, trying to approach the raccoon brand uh, commercials that they were trying to make for the client uh, it doesn't play out like I expected which was good uh, you know and definitely stay through the end credits because there's a very hilarious moment uh, in the end credits that uh, makes it worth watching to the very end folks Jesse Barack has a winner on his hands, I think. Even though it is meant to be uh, a promotion for Raccoon Brand, that doesn't make it a bad film by any means. It's fun, it's interesting, and you can expect some unexpected things to happen. And you will at least get a few laughs, if nothing, out of the first few minutes of this film. So check it out if you can. It's online right now for everyone to see. I'll put the links down below. There's a 14-minute version as well as a shorter version. Either one of them are worth your time, I think especially if you enjoy short films, funny short films, uh, Ad Men is one of those. And if you do watch it, please come back and leave your constructive comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts about this uh, rather humorous short film. Make sure you subscribe here at Special Mark Productions. Uh, we got some great things uh, coming. Always looking for subscribers. Have your friends. Have your friends tell their friends. I love the support from each and every one of my movie maniacs out there. It's because of you guys I do this, and I thank you every time because it really Really does mean a lot to me that you're coming to hear me ramble about such films like Ad Men. So check it out, and remember, as always, keep that ticket stub.